that's funny i do a little hee hee ha ja 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 i don't know it on the thing that i want to get Hey girl, you seen the title of the video. Your girl is back again with another story time. If you to my channel, hey girl, hey. And if you're a returning subscriber, I don't even gotta say nothing because you know what's up, I know what's up, we know what's up, and that's on what? That's on what? That's on period. And Mary had a little lamb. So as y'all can see with the well by the title, I'm back again with another college story time. This story time is gonna be about the time my roommate had me messed up. We got into this big altercation, and I don't know why I thought about giving y'all this story time now. But y'all know all the craziest things in my life happened when I was in college. I do have crazy things going on now, but I really have to let it marinate and season it a little bit before I give it to y'all. Y'all will probably get story times that happened in 2022 and 2023, like a few months from now, y'all, because it just be too messy to give it to y'all fresh. But without further ado, well, actually, no, we need to have a little chat we need to talk really quick because a lot of y'all like i i can't even count y'all how many times i got this comment on my last story time well actually it wasn't my last story time it was like two story times ago it was the um I have a soccer story time about me telling y'all I met the guy in the gym and he turned into a soccer that story time right there that one Everybody named Mama was commenting on that video. And y'all was just like, well, Angel, why you ain't just tell him he wasn't interested? Why you ain't just tell? Be for real. Be for real. If you a woman and you watching this video, and if you didn't see that video yet, you probably hella confused right now. Probably need to click off this video and watch that video. But for y'all that know what I'm talking about, the OGs that know what I'm talking about, I'm going to go ahead and answer the question. So, y'all. How many times have y'all told a man that y'all had a boyfriend, although y'all was like OD single, like single, single, like phone dry single? You told somebody you had a boyfriend and they hit you with the, oh, you can't have friends. Your man don't let you have friends. And then you'd be like, no, no, my man, he fight, he fight ninjas. Like he don't let me have friends. And then they hit you with the OD, the infamous, oh, he control you. Your man control you. Y'all already know men do not take rejection well. So I was so surprised by how many people commented on that video. It was like, Asia, why you just didn't tell him that you wasn't interested? Why you? Y'all, men, or maybe the men around me, the men that I have came across, they don't take rejection well. So I just wanted to ghost him and not really explain to him that I wasn't interested. Y'all probably right. He probably would have been cool, but then it's a 50% chance he knows where I live at. I told y'all I met him in my apartment complex. It's a chance that he would have been crazy. So I just left it at that. I didn't feel the need to explain myself. And another thing, people know when they have you messed up, y'all. Y'all don't always need to give people clarity or closure. Like silence is gold. I don't feel the need to tell every person that they had me messed up or I don't feel the need to tell somebody why I'm cutting them off all the time. Obviously, if this is a long-term friend or somebody that I cherish, then I'll, you know, I'm mature enough to say, hey, this is why we're no longer cool. This is why I don't want no parts with you. But y'all, it was just one day and I wasn't interested and I just didn't feel the need to tell him just simply because I know men don't take rejection well. And like I say, y'all know, like, yeah, girl, y'all be for real. Y'all know men don't take rejection well. I can't count or tell y'all how many times I have told a man that I was not interested in him. And he's like, oh, you're going to miss your blessing. Don't miss your, don't, don't miss your blessing. You're going to miss your blessing. Don't miss your blessing. I'm God sent. God sent me. You're going to miss. Y'all, be for real. Be for real. Y'all know how ninjas are. So that's to answer y'all questions. I just didn't feel the need to explain it to him because men do not take rejection well. And like I said, y'all, silence speaks volumes. Like silence is gold. I don't feel the need to get everybody clarity when I cut them off or they don't no, no longer serve me in my life, y'all. So boom. Let's go. Do I have a actually I have I guess I got another disclaimer. Do I feel like being petty today? Y'all, the Taurus in me just feel like being petty today because I've also been getting a lot of comments from men on my video telling me, um, who, what did he say? Let me pull the comment up. Um, I can't find a comment right now, y'all, but I'm going to leave my cash app below 
for the people that's telling me they don't like my hair, they want me to wear my lashes and nails, they don't like the natural Asia. Cash at me. Cash at me. If you don't like my appearance or you don't like um, me not having my nails done in my videos or wearing lashes anymore, or if you don't like me having my hair like this, cash at me today. And I've seen comments of women um, telling me they don't like my look or whatever as well. Y'all, just cash at me. If you don't like my look and you're willing to pay for it, cash at me. And if you don't want to pay for it, shut up. Don't comment on my videos telling me you don't like the way I look or how I dress or... <sighs> Let me just go ahead and get to the story time because y'all do too much. But girl, so this story time took place in college. Well, let me go ahead and give y'all my info. <laughs> Some of y'all be getting mad when I don't do my story times in the same order like I always do them. So I'm going to try to keep it the same, y'all. So y'all already know in order for any of my story times to make sense, I have to give y'all what? A little backstory. So y'all, this took place in college. I believe this was the beginning of my junior year. I was living in this apartment complex and I'm not going to name the apartment complex just simply because it's a very popular complex in Tallahassee. But I do want to let y'all know throughout my college career, I had about... I had about 12 roommates. Like every year I moved and I always had either two to three roommates and I stayed in Tallahassee for I want to say four years and like six months like right when the pandemic hit that's when I left Tallahassee but y'all I was there for a minute and I always had new roommates and I never roommated with any of my friends so yeah I had a lot of roommates and most of my roommates I would say out of the 12 no maybe 11 roommates I had out of the 11 roommates I had I would say I always had probably issues with about five of them so almost half I had issue with it was something with the either the air condition or they just didn't respect my privacy they would invade my space or they had a third person roommate roommate with us and they didn't want to pay rent or they was just nasty like I always had issues with my roommate and if you're not new here I do have story times on my channel about past issues that I had with roommates in Tallahassee but this story is going to be about the time where I actually had an issue with a roommate that I was actually cool with because the other half of my roommates I'm cool with and I'm kind of going to remix this story time just a little bit because I don't want you to know who I'm talking about but if you was my roommate and you watching this it's probably not about you because like I said I had 10 other roommates but y'all let's go ahead and jump into it so we're gonna go ahead and give this roommate a name of um, Brokey? Do we like Brokey? Yeah, we all get her um, the name of Brokey. So I moved in with Brokey and we were staying in this apartment complex. And the first day I met her, the girl was like super duper friendly. She was really, really nice. And she was low maintenance. But I mean by low maintenance, y'all, she wasn't one of those roommates that required a lot. Y'all, it's a freaking gnat in my room. So if y'all see me like spat in the camera, that's why. He keeps flying by me, but he don't know. Y'all, I'm really about to square up with this gnat because he keep flying by me. But like I was saying, y'all, she was a low-maintenance roommate. She really didn't require a lot. Like, she didn't come in and out the house. She never really asked to use, like, my food or my belongings a lot. She was just super-duper cool. I added her on social media immediately. Um, we both went to FAMU together, and she was just... You want to fight? He going to really annoy me. We're going to call it a nat brokey son because he really annoying me, y'all. But literally, um, she was just low maintenance, y'all. She just didn't really require a lot. I remember the first, maybe the first week I moved into the apartment, it was in the summer, y'all. And we had a meeting and she basically said that she's always at her boyfriend's house. How she's not really going to be home a lot. But if I need her, she's just a call away. Like she gave me her number or whatever. Around this time, y'all, they did not have Wi-Fi at this apartment. I do want to tell y'all that I had two roommates. So it was Brokey and then it was another roommate. But this other roommate, she was home for the summer. So I really didn't meet her until the summer was about over. And Brokey, they didn't have Wi-Fi at the apartment. I did need Wi-Fi so I can use it on my laptop. She told me the only thing that they had was cable and she would just use her hotspot on her phone anytime she needed to connect to the internet. Which for her, I guess it wasn't a big deal, y'all. But for me, it kind of sort of was a big deal just simply because I'm in school. I need Wi-Fi in order for my laptop to work. Although at the time, um, I didn't really even do school work on my laptop, y'all, just simply because um, my professors didn't play. Like the Wi-Fi that I did have, it wasn't really good Wi-Fi. I ended up getting Wi-Fi. Um, I don't want to give the company's name just because 
I don't know, y'all. I don't want to give the company's name, but we just going to call the company um, Xfinity, y'all. So I got Xfinity Wi-Fi and I got the most basic plan. It was literally their little month to month plan. It was like $70. It didn't require a contract. I can cancel it at any time. It didn't include cable or anything extra. All it included was Wi-Fi, y'all. So boom, I think like the second week of me living there, I ordered the Wi-Fi, um, the box came in the mail. I set my Wi-Fi up or whatever. And uh, I want to say by the second week, Brokey, I really didn't see her like, like, like she said, y'all, she was always at her man house. But anytime she was home, I would always hear like her TV on, like she would always have her TV on. She had cable, which I did think that was weird, y'all, because this has to be back in like 2018. And nowadays, no one uses cable. Like everybody watches like Netflix, Hulu, HBO, um, Amazon um video like no one really uses cable i know once i enter college like i stopped watching cable in 2015 y'all so i thought it was kind of weird that she still had cable and like i said the second roommate i had never met her at this point this is my second week living in this apartment so i'm there and i'm just chilling and one day i get a knock on my room door and y'all it's broken so she's asking me for the Wi-Fi password. And when she first asked me, y'all, I really didn't think anything of it. But then again, I'm kind of thinking like, girl, didn't you say you didn't need Wi-Fi? You just use your hotspot. And I have Verizon, y'all, but Verizon does not have an unlimited hotspot. If you use the hotspot all, you're going to be done dried and it's going to be over with in like the first three days like the verizon hotspot does not work that well like you can connect it to your computer or a few devices but it doesn't really work for a long time like i have a family plan with like 10 people on it so we all like share our we all share the hotspot basically so she came and she asked me for the wi-fi password i gave her the password all which it really wasn't an issue y'all at that moment so boom maybe like i want to say a month into me living there and i'm connected to the wi-fi i remember one day i was on my computer and i was taking a quiz and y'all this net is really bothering me let me be great dang but y'all i'm taking my um quiz and i remember in the middle of my quiz my wi-fi clicked off my wife had my wife had my wife had my wife had why am i can't say wi-fi wi-fi my Wi-Fi has never clicked off ever. So it clicked off mid-text. So immediately I disconnected, I reconnected, and it was saying that my Wi-Fi was like loading. It was just loading like really, really slow. Like I said, y'all, I was in the middle of taking a quiz. This quiz did have two attempts. So before I wanted to go back on and like restart my quiz, I wanted to ask my roommate, because she go ahead and disconnect from my Wi-Fi. So I left my room. She had her room door over. And her boyfriend was over and a few of his friends. Lo and behold, y'all, why this girl got her boyfriend and all of his friends connected to my Wi-Fi? So I went in there and I asked her, like, hey, I'm taking a quiz. Is there any way that you can disconnect from the Wi-Fi just so it can be stronger? Because I'm in the middle of taking a quiz. So she's like, oh, yeah, that's fine. But is it cool if my boyfriend and his people connect? At that point, y'all, he had already connected, like, she missed the steps to ask so she's telling them or whatever like hey disconnect from the wi-fi y'all can reconnect in a little bit or whatever i'm like cool no problem so i go in the room y'all i finish my test um i was a little aggravated because the wi-fi stopped again on the second part of me taking my test i didn't really want to blame her but i knew that it had to do with her connecting her boyfriend and all his broke friends to the wi-fi because it was just moving like hella hella slow so that was the first issue that we had with the Wi-Fi. Like, she claimed that she didn't even, like, want any Wi-Fi. She didn't offer to go half on the Wi-Fi or anything, which it was only $70, y'all. And I only had the Wi-Fi just simply because I couldn't use the hotspot on my phone. But she was letting everybody and their mama use the Wi-Fi. But you claimed that all you had needed was cable in your hotspot and you was good. But, um... But you claim. So y'all, fast forward, I want to say probably like three, four months into me living there. Everything is good. Like I said, she was really a low maintenance roommate. She didn't really ask for a lot. Like some days I would come in her room and we would ch chop it up. Some days she would come in my room, we would chop it up. I would say we were, we were basically roommate friends. Like outside of school, I never hung out with her. We went and partied together. We didn't have any classes together. Like if I seen her around campus, of course, I would be like, hey, brokey. Like, hey, girl. Like she would say hey to me. I would say hey to her. If she needed to borrow some sugar, she would ask. If I needed to borrow some toothpaste, I would ask. Like we didn't 
have like a close knit relationship, y'all. But we definitely was cool. Like we were we were roommates. We were very cordial or whatever. Um, fast forward to my lease is up and I had to move, y'all. And she was staying in this unit. She decided to renew her lease. So when before I left or whatever, I had already let her know, like, hey, I'm leaving. Um, I'm no longer doing the Wi-Fi. I'm disconnecting the Wi-Fi. So if you still want Wi-Fi, um, I don't mind you like I don't mind giving you a referral to use Xfinity, blah blah blah, because they was gonna give me like a discount thing. I was gonna take the Wi-Fi to my new apartment, but I ended up finding out that my other apartment, it was a student housing apartment, y'all. So it already came with Wi-Fi. But at this time I didn't know that. So I'm just like, hey Brokey, um, I'm moving. If you still need the Wi-Fi, you can use my referral code, blah 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 blah. So you can get like money off. And then I was gonna get like a discount at the time. So I'm telling her this, and she's just like, Oh no, it's cool. Um, I don't really need Wi-Fi, da da da. Thank you for letting me use your Wi-Fi. Mind you, y'all, the whole time I lived there, I paid for the Wi-Fi. Her boyfriend would come over all the time. His friends would come over. They would all connect to the Wi-Fi. The other roommate also asked to connect to the Wi-Fi. And y'all, it really wasn't a big deal. But like I said, fast forward probably like it's probably like a week before i'm about to move when i first mentioned to her about the wi-fi situation about me moving if she wanted to like get her own wi-fi that was probably a month before i moved out so now i'm really about to move out and i'm disconnecting the wi-fi because at this point i know that my new apartment has wi-fi already so i hit her up and i'm just like hey girl um i'm about to disconnect the wi-fi today and she was just like um how much is the wi-fi bill and i'm just like um it's like seventy dollars is really not that much and she was like i think i'm gonna go ahead and try them or whatever and i was like all right um let me know if you want i could wait until i like fully move out and i'll just leave the wi-fi on for you so she's like thank you so much because y'all at this point she had had um she was using the wi-fi off her smart tv so she was using my wi-fi to watch hulu netflix all of that she still had cable but I felt like she was just using the Wi-Fi because it was there. She didn't really need the Wi-Fi, but she was attached to the Wi-Fi at this point, y'all. So, boom. Fast forward, I want to say, like, two days later, Brokey comes to me. And she was like, um, I tried to get a service with them, but for some reason, they wouldn't approve me. And I was just like, what you mean they wouldn't approve you? I got the month-to-month -month Wi-Fi. Um, it's not a contract. They didn't even, they said they didn't run my credit. They probably did run my credit. But they told me that they didn't run my credit. And she was like, well, they had to run your credit because for me, they said that I couldn't get approved for it. Um, and I honestly really do like Xfinity service. So I'm just like, well, um, I don't know if you want, you could just take on my plan, y'all. This is literally where I messed up at because I didn't even have a contract with y'all. Mind you, remember y'all, I had the month to month Wi-Fi. There was no contract. There was no anything. But I'm just like, if you want you can use um my plan and you would just have to pay them directly um i can give you like i can change the password you can create a username and you would just have to go on there and pay it or whatever like that's cool like i said at this point i had lived with this girl for a year i didn't have any issues with her thinking back y'all it's like really girls why would you leave a bill in your name for your roommate I Y'all, I know this is exactly where I messed up at, but at the time, I'm thinking, like, I never had any problems with the girl. Um, she needs the Wi-Fi. I don't really need it. I'm not going to be paying a Wi-Fi bill because I'm moving into an apartment with Wi-Fi. Like, it's not going to be a big deal. So, she's like, um, yeah, um, I'll go ahead and pay. All I need is the Wi-Fi. If it's just 70, that's not bad. And she's like, oh, and you said you can cancel that anytime, right? I'm like, yeah, you can cancel that anytime, girl. So, fast forward, y'all. I move out, and at this time, I'm still cool with her. Or, I want to say, we still cool, y'all, and we would never really, really hang out, hang out. But once I moved out of the apartment... I was talking to a dude that lived in the apartment complex still. So I would see her all the time. Like anytime I would come over my dude's house, I would stop by the apartment and I would just chop it up with her. So one day I was over there and I was chopping it up with her. And she mentioned something about the Wi-Fi. By this point, I'm probably like two months in at my new apartment. She's been paying the Wi-Fi bill. Um, she never changed any of the login information, y'all. I literally can go online and check if she was paying it. And she was paying it. It's like two months in. I'm no longer there. She paid the bill for the last two months. So she's just like, um, I'm thinking about switching my cable company over because 
they raggedy. I don't remember who she had service with y'all, but basically she was just like, they raggedy. I need to switch over. Um, my bill went to $400. How much do you think the bill would be if I switch over to Xfinity? At this point, y'all, I don't know how much Xfinity cable um, was because all I had was Wi-Fi. I only told her about the $7 Wi-Fi. I was like, um, I don't know. You can contact them or whatever. I did have a PIN number to my account, y'all. So I gave her the PIN number so she can call to get like deals and rates on how much it would be to connect um, cable. Y'all, this is my second time. This is where I really should have been like, now you, I really should have been like, you need to get this in your own name. But y'all, like I said, she had paid the last two months. I didn't have an issue with it. I was still cordial with the girl. Never had any real issues with her when we were living in the apartment together. She was a low maintenance roommate, y'all. Say it with me, low maintenance. She didn't require much. So boom. Um, I want to say it's probably like four it's probably like four or five months to me living at my other apartment i'm over there giving y'all over i'm over there having hell with these other roommates this is when i told y'all i lived in the boulevard and i had the roommate that stole my wig if you didn't see that story time make sure y'all go back and watch that video i'm over there giving him hell so i'm coming over to my old apartment like i said i'm talking to the dude that live in her apartment complex so i would stop by her place from time to time so like i said it's four months later y'all i go to her place or whatever and she has switched over to Xfinity. She has cable now. She's telling me yeah, she liked their cable. She had been notified me that she was switching over her cable or whatever. It's like no big deal, y'all. I'm telling her about the do. I'm telling her about my other roommates. I'm telling her like, dang, girl, I would have stayed living with you if I knew I was going to go to the boulevard and them hosts was going to be giving me hell. Like I would have stayed with you. So we just chopping a real small talk, y'all. I want to say fast forward to like... I don't know, y'all. The school year is partially over. Like, the school year is over. It's probably the following year. I'm probably... It's probably spring of my junior year. I'm in an apartment complex, y'all. And one day, when I'm in this apartment complex, I happen to see Brokey. At this point, I haven't really talked to Brokey for a while. I still was seeing that she had the... um, I still seen that she was paying the Wi-Fi bill, y'all. I would actually get emails that say, thank you for your payment. I would get those emails regularly. I had honestly stopped checking for it, y'all, because I was getting like the confirmation emails regularly. So one day, um, I'm in the complex, and I see her, and she's like, oh, hey, girl, blaza, blaza, blaza. We end up chopping it up. I tell her, once I leave my dude's house, I'm going to stop by her house, y'all. This was when I was in my Lincoln pulling up um, stage, y'all. It's just so freaking embarrassing. But I pull up to her house once I'm done at his house, and I'm in there, and she don't have no TV on, nothing on. This girl is playing music. And y'all, I lived with her for a year. So this is this is out of the norm. Like this is not her. This is the type of girl that has to sleep with her TV on. Like she can't go to bed. Like she can't rest her eyes without her TV being on. So I'm just like, why you don't have the TV on? The girl on YouTube playing um music, y'all. This is unlike her. So she was like, Oh girl, I had to cancel that um Xfinity cable because they was just too high. <gasps> too high. That's why you can't sue the last company because they was too high. You the problem. You too low. So I'm like, what? You had to cancel it. How you canceled it? Um, Like, y'all, mind you, at the time, none of this is registering to me. I'm not thinking like, Asia, this is your stuff. This is in your name. Like I said, a, a whole, almost a year has passed by and I'm no longer living in this apartment. So I'm like, huh? She was like, yeah, they was too high. The bill was all the way up to $400. Um, I'm no longer going to be with them. And I was like, well, did you pay the bill before you canceled it? Before you told them that you didn't want their service anymore? And she was just like, um, no, I'm in the process of getting another company. And I'm just like, wait, huh? You know that's, that's, that's not how that works. And she's like, yeah, I know. I'm just looking for um, another company. So I'm like, what do you have right now? She's like, oh, I don't have nothing, girl. I just been watching Hulu and Netflix. Y'all, that explains why she was on YouTube watching music videos because she ain't had no cable. So I'm really trying not to like run down on her, y'all. But I'm like questioning her. Like, I just want to see where her mindset at. So I'm just like, what you mean you canceled the um thing? Like, did you call them and let them know that you no longer wanted the service? 
And then she's like, yeah, I did. Um, I'm thinking about to switch over to blah, blah, blah service because they just too high. And I'm just like, well, you said they was better because that's why you switched over. She was like, oh, no, girl. They had got me the first month. They gave me all types of deals. And now all of a sudden, the bill, $400. I can't afford to pay that. But she did keep the Wi-Fi on, y'all. She was still paying the Wi-Fi. So those confirmation emails that I was getting, it was for her payment for the Wi-Fi. I didn't know anything about her not paying for the cable. So at that point... I called um after I left her house or maybe I don't remember if I did it at her house or rap y'all. Oh, I, I know y'all. Before I left her house, literally I got outside her house, I was in my car. I called Xfinity and I'm like, hey, I need to check on an account with Brokey. And they're like, um, yeah, that account has no that account is no longer active for cable. And I'm like, um, why is it no longer active? They're just like, oh, it has an outstanding balance. You can't close it out until the balance is paid. So I'm thinking like she just told me she closed it out because she had the bill was too high how you close it out and the people on the phone telling me they can't close it out until you pay your remaining bill so i text her and i'm like hey girl i talked to xfinity and they said you got an outstanding balance of 400 dollars. she's like yeah i know i'm gonna pay it before i find my new company i just can't afford to pay it right now but i'm no longer using the service i already returned all the equipment like i no longer I no longer need their service anymore, but I'm still going to pay for the Wi-Fi, girl. It's not an issue. You said it's not a contract, right? I can cancel that anytime. I said, yes, mama. You can cancel that anytime, but you know you have to pay the remaining bill, right? She's like, yeah, 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 I know. I was like, well, do you want me to put you on a payment plan with them? Because you know this could possibly affect my credit. She's like, I thought you said there was no credit check. There's no credit check. Well, if there was no credit check, you would have had it in your name, right? She's like, oh, oh, right, right, right. Like, yeah, I'll call them first thing in the, tomorrow so I can go ahead and set up a payment plan. So y'all know me. I text her the next morning and I'm like, good morning. I ain't care nothing about her morning being good or I ain't care nothing about it being morning. I wanted my money. So I text her and I'm like, hey, good morning. Did you talk to Xfinity? She's like, no, I haven't called them yet. I'm gonna go ahead and call them. I'm like, oh, it's okay. I already got them on the line. I got them on the line, y'all. So I called Xfinity. I added her to the line. I'm on the phone the whole time. They connected her bank account. I'm making sure everything is set up. I think it was gonna be like $100 a month. At that time, she owed like, I wanna say like $400, $500 at the time of the bill but i don't remember exactly what she owed but i heard her set everything up so i'm like okay cool she gonna take care of that she said she's gonna continue to pay the wi-fi but what i was thinking y'all once she paid this off i was gonna go ahead and cancel my contract but i couldn't cancel it until she would have paid it off y'all so boom that happens um i'm still keeping in contact with the girl i'm not hazarding her i'm not harassing her about the bill i'm just going online to make sure it's being paid so I don't know, y'all. My life probably just got really busy with school, working, juggling relationships, friendships. So I really stopped checking on the bill. I stopped logging on online to see if she paid the bill. Fast forward, um, I want to say like four months passed by. Four or five months passed by. Something just told me to go ahead and call Xfinity to see how much she had left on it at this point i was really expecting to call xfinity and for them to tell me like hey miss brown you can go ahead and cancel your contract at any time because everything's been paid off like everything is good because remember y'all the payment plan that she set up it was a hundred dollars and it was going to be it was going to be a hundred dollars either every two weeks or every month mind you the bill was no more than like five hundred dollars so you know i get on the phone i call and I'm like, hey, um, I have an account with you guys. I was calling to see how the payment plans are. Is it paid off that cable bill? They said account, cable bill. Ms. Brown, that's been sent to collections. Collections? No, there was payment plans. It was set up. I'm not delusional. No, ma'am, I'm not delusional. It was set up. of any payment plans so who do, who was i on the phone with what agent was i on the phone with setting up payment plans so y'all immediately i click on the lady on xfinity because she telling me that there was no payment plans and it had been sent to um collections so i'm confused so i text i text brokey and i'm like hey brokey um did you ever pay off the bill because i just first i want to see if she was gonna lie i'm like hey girl did you ever pay off the bill she was like yeah i had the automatic payment plan set up so it should have been taken out of my account um but i did notice that it didn't take anything 
So I'm like, you know this? She's like, yeah, I noticed um, that they haven't been taking anything. So I thought it was paid off. Okay, well, I got Xfinity on the other line. I called Xfinity back, y'all. Put her back on the line. They basically tell me that it wasn't paid, um, so they sent it to collections. So now they needed to transfer me to a collection agency. So she's on the phone with me. She hears all of this. Um, I speak to the, the, the collection people, and they're telling me that the bill was past due, and I had up to, I think they said I had up to a certain amount of time to pay it. So now I'm on the phone with her, and I'm just like, if you would have told me that you weren't, if you stopped the payment plans or... Like whatever happened with the payment plans, I would have paid it because this is my credit. This is my this is my line. So um, she's just so confused. She's like, "Oh no, I forgot I switched banks, and that's probably when it stopped. Like, probably that's when it had to stop." So me and her, we kind of get into it, y'all, just a little bit, but it's very respectful. I'm not hostile with her. Like I'm not saying anything or whatever. So. I go ahead and pay the collection company right then and there because I didn't want it to affect my credit. So I go ahead and I pay them immediately. It was like $500. I go ahead and pay it and that's that. So I want to tell her, I think that same day she's on the phone while all this is going on. So once I hang up with the collection people, I'm just like, um, brokey. I know you broke, but you gonna have to pay me because you heard I just paid this off so it doesn't affect my credit. You're gonna have to pay me. She's like, yeah, I got you. When I get paid on Friday, I'm gonna give you a portion of the money. We could do payment plans. I don't have much right now, but I can give you $25. I can give you something on it. I'm like, okay. So she ends up um, cash up me $25, y'all. That's that. Um, fast forward, I wanna say... Uh, I think it probably was like the following week because like I said, while all this is going on, I'm still very much cordial with the girl. I still go by the apartment. We still chop it up here and there. We're Instagram friends. Anytime I post something on Instagram, she swipes up. She's liking my post. I'm liking her post. Like we still very much cool. If she posts something that's funny, I do a little hee hee ha, ja ja ja. I comment on it like, y'all, there's no issue between us other than the issue with her having to pay me my money. So... Um, I think I want to say we are, I think either I'm at, I don't think I was on the phone with her, y'all. I believe I was at her house. Cause like I said, we were cordial, but I don't think we really ever talked on the phone much other than when I actually lived in the apartment with her. So this particular day I'm at her house and she was like shopping for something and she's just like, Asia, um, help me pick between this or this. Like help me pick between this purse or this purse. And I'm just like, what? I don't really want to hear that right now, y'all. And I didn't say a rude or anything, y'all. I'm just like, what? I Like, I honestly don't want to hear that right now. And she's just like, what? Why not? And I was like, well, you owe me money. Why do I need, like, why do I want to help you choose between what purse to buy when you owe me money? And she's just like, well, first of all, um, it's not that big of a deal. I'm going to give you your funky A. Forty dollars. I'm gonna give you your funky forty dollars. It wasn't forty dollars, y'all. It was like five hundred. But she was trying to be funny, so she was like, "I'm gonna give you your funky forty dollars." So immediately, um, uh, we get into an altercation. She's trying to like make me feel guilty. She's trying to pity me. She busts out crying. She's like, "Yeah, cause I was gonna give it to you. I ain't even know if I knew that. I would never do that. I would never. I would never do that to you. I don't know." Brokey, I don't care anything about the pity tears. I don't care anything about you crying. You, I respect that you feel the way that you feel, but honestly, you need to respect that. I don't want to hear about you shopping for a purse, a shoe, dinner. I don't care if you eat. I want my money. Like, I just had to come out of pocket and pay $500 for something that I should have to pay for when I was being nice and being genuine to you. So, I want my money. So, immediately, y'all, she's trying to, like, um, gaslight me and make me feel bad. She got the crocodile te tears going on. Um, I end up leaving her house. And that's that immediately after I left, y'all, she sends me the money. And um, after that, I don't really think I heard from her. Like, she wasn't liking my post. She wasn't commenting on anything. I didn't really care, y'all. I was just happy that I had my money. So fast forward, I want to say um, it probably it probably was a while, y'all. Because honestly, after I had my money, I didn't really text her good morning. Because like I said, I didn't care about how her morning was going. I didn't care that it was morning. I didn't care about her day. I just really wanted my money. I end up um, canceling the contract. It, sorry, y'all. It wasn't a contract. I end up closing out the the account altogether. She was still paying the Wi-Fi bill, but I canceled it out. And all of this happened like a year later. Like I said, um, 
the bill did go to collections but she was just trying to guilt trip me and make me feel bad about it and after that i don't think we really talked like she would post little stuff on instagram like little sublim subliminals and stuff y'all but we just never really talked after that so that's the story on how my roommate had me messed up and um, yeah this is honestly this is probably a normal story so i'm pretty sure this is something like this has happened to everyone i feel like as a friend or like a family member y'all all know someone that you have put something in your name for and they don't pay you but y'all um, the thing was with me that i didn't like is just like how come anytime somebody owe you money they talk to you less and less it's just like by us talking less and less that's not gonna make me forget that you owe me money the girl hasn't like like i said i didn't have any beef for her after the situation i just wanted my money it was just business at this point it was no beef i still would have liked her pictures i still would have swiped up actually to this day she probably don't follow me on the gram but i probably still follow her because i didn't feel the need to unfollow her like you owe me money it's always crazy when people try to get mad at you when they owe you something like like make it make sense it does not make sense but yeah y'all i'm just rambling now that's pretty much the end of this story time i did want to go ahead and share a promo with y'all i'm working with a black brand um this is actually one of my subscribers she has a company called i believe it's bless mirror she sells sunglasses clothes um beauty products she also sells nose rings so i do want to show y'all some of the um I do want to show y'all some of the nose rings she has sent me. I also, I am going to list her website so y'all can see. She has them in different colors, assorted styles. She have a gold dangly one. Um, this one right here has a heart and an angel on it. Really, really cute. This one right here is really cute. I'm also going to put a picture up of me on the screen of when I wore some of these. But she sent me a few nose rings, y'all. This one right here has a flower on it. And it has a dangly thing. Super duper cute. Um, this one right here is my favorite. I wear this one the most. This one right here, it has a dangly heart. And then it looks like it has like Saturn or something on it. Really, really nice. You can kind of see it. And it has like a blue diamond in there. Um, honestly, y'all, she sent me so many. I cannot wait to wear all of these. Um, this one right here, it has a star in it. And then it has like a dream catcher thingy on it. And it has a purple little stone inside of it. Really, really cute. Um, this one right here is these two are the same. One is just gold, and then the other one is just silver. And all of them have dangly things on there. If you don't like dangly things, I promise you, y'all, she has something for you. She has the cute little studs. She don't only just have the dangly ones. But yeah, this is how they look. Thank you so much, girl, for sending me these um nose rings really really nice and you know what i like y'all she sends the thin bar make sure anytime you're wearing any cosmetic facial um jewelry you need to make sure the band is thick because i remember the last time i went to my piercer i was wearing a little cheap thin nose ring that i ordered off of amazon and he basically told me it was cutting in my nose like it was cutting my skin he was saying that i needed to have a thick um a thick nose ring so it doesn't tear your skin so i love that all of her nose rings are thick i haven't had any irritation i haven't had any problems with them like i said i am going to insert some pictures of how they look on me i am going to put her website on the screen so y'all can check her out and also i'm going to have everything linked about her business down below y'all already know what to do don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see y'all in my next story time peace well i guess i'll facetime y'all next week I'm going to FaceTime y'all next week. I think next Sunday. Mwah. Bye, girl.